Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today I am, not even today, I'm in the office. I mean, there's nowhere for me to go. So you guys already know that. Um, my main purpose for today's video is because I get a lot of questions um, when it comes on to, thank you, get and close that door and tell Alex to take that thing. Um, I get a lot of questions when it comes on to our products and, you know, creating the perfect cocktail for your hair, creating the perfect product for your hair. Um, when it comes to hair care products, it's it's kind of like we are broad spectrum, okay? And when I say broad spectrum, as a company, you can't really cater to each and every individual person, um, hair type, hair texture, hair situation. If that is the case you are going to have a very, very, very hard time finding the product that's best for you. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to create some custom cocktails that you can use for your hair care situation. And I'm also gonna tell you how to create that actual cocktail using Elite Hair Care products, essential oils, and also um, carrier oils or treatment oils. So you're definitely going to need a piece of paper. You're definitely going to need a pen, okay? And I'm going to actually create the cocktails with you guys on live today. So you guys will be able to see the different cocktails that I'm going to create, why I'm creating them, how I'm creating them, what I'm using, that kind of thing, okay? So number one, it doesn't really require anything special. I'm going to be using some plastic cups. So I'm going to do three custom cocktails and I'm just going to use three plastic cups, okay? This is exactly the same thing that you're going to do at home. This does not require you to actually do uh, go out and, and buy measuring machines and all that. You don't have to do any of that, okay? Sorry, I just feel a little glossy today. All right, that's a little bit better. Or maybe it's the lighting in here. Okay, that's better. So excited, I've been waiting for this live. Okay, good. All right, so first things first, I am going to slide my desk over. If you guys don't know, I'm at, I'm at home. So let me slide my desk over here. Let me move this over here. So I have space. Okay, space and opportunity. And I have all of the products right next to me. I will show you guys the products so you guys will know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to take out a couple oils that are really good oils to have on hand. So I'm going to take those out. So you guys hold on one second. Um, is there anything back here that I think I'm going to need? No, 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 and no. Okay, good. So you guys hold on one second. That oil, I'm just giving out some oils because I have an entire catalog of oils. Almond. Um, essential oils. Essential oils. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take out, I just took out some oils that I have. I took out some essential oils that I have, okay? So number one, you will need a pipette. A pipette is what you use for essential oils and also carrier oils. It is not something where you just douse, okay? Essential oils are things that can actually burn if not used in the correct ratio, okay? So you definitely are going to need your favorite essential oils. For today, I'm going to use peppermint and eucalyptus. Both of those are in the same family, but one of them I'm going to, um, we're going to imagine that it is uh, orange essential oil. We're going to use it as an orange essential oil, okay? Reason being is peppermint and eucalyptus are in the same family. These are more for anti-inflammatory. These are also for those who have um, issues with like, uh, dermatitis, itchiness, that kind of thing. So the orange essential oil is also great for that, but it is also great for um, eliminating free radicals, um, bacteria, this is basically citrus, vitamin C, citrus, peppermint, eucalyptus, menthol feeling. You kind of understand the breakdown of essential oils if you really just put it into layman's terms, okay? All right, so those are gonna be our essential oils. For my carrier oils, 
or my additive oils or my emollients, I'm going to use marula oil. Uh, I have almond oil. I have rose hip seed oil. I have olive oil. I have baobab oil. And I have argon oil. Okay. Now, the only reason I'm showing you guys all of these oils is because you have to determine what type of oil you need for your situation. This is why we call it a custom formula. So for instance, almond oil is a very lightweight moisturizer, okay? If you lack moisture, almond oil could be one of your go-tos. Olive oil is another one that is also great for moisturizing, but it is a heavier oil. You can clearly tell by the color of the oil that it is a lot heavier or lighter. The color will tell you exactly how dense the oil is. Baobab oil, another very dense oil. By just the look of it, you can tell that it is a very dense oil. Rosehip oil is a lighter oil, so we know that it is going to be a lightweight oil. So that is how you are going to determine which oils you would need for whatever cocktail you are creating, okay? All right, so the first cocktail that I'm gonna create is a hair repair cocktail, okay? So I'm gonna use the hair repair and growth conditioner, okay? Let's say you are one who has a scalp issue, but your hair is also very damaged, but you also lack a little bit of hydration or moisture. That doesn't mean that you have to do a moisturizing conditioner, a moisturizing shampoo, a moisturizing um, or strengthening conditioner. No, create a cocktail, create a cocktail. So I'm gonna show you how. So you take your hair repair and um, hair repair and growth conditioner, okay? So you are going to use the amount that you'd actually put on your hair. This is how we create the cocktail. You're not gonna do it with the entire bottle. So I'm gonna take some hair repair conditioner, okay? So I have conditioner in there, however much you're going to use. Now at this point, I know that, okay, my scalp has been really, really itchy this week. Um, you know, I just, I just want some relief. I want that cooling sensation, but I don't want it to, to be too overbearing, okay? So you can do one of two things. You can either use a rosemary essential oil or you can use a peppermint or eucalyptus. So in this case, I'm gonna use peppermint. Now, because I am only putting it with my mixture here, I am going to use literally one drop. Well, I did two. Two drops, okay? Two drops. If you do not understand essential oils, definitely go and look at the dilution of an essential oil. Essential oils are very, 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 very potent oils, okay? So I put two drops in my conditioner that's a lot two drops is good okay i know mentally you're telling yourself like no that's not enough two drops is good and if you put too much it can actually burn or scorch the scalp okay so i put two drops now i know that i need a little bit of um moisture but if i'm fine textured okay i don't want anything heavy so i am going to use a lightweight oil in this case i could either use almond oil or i can use rose hip seed oil in my case i think i want to use some rose hip seed almond oil is very common almond oil is something that is um very misunderstood and it's overused so i like to use oils that typically are more complicated to find because i know that i know the the benefit of them would be a lot greater like rose hip seed oil it's not hard to find but it's only made you only you typically get it in small batches okay unless you're gonna pay a lot of money and get it in a big batch. So I'm gonna take my pipette, okay? And I'm going to count how much I want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I typically do not go over 10 drops of any oil. If it's a heavier oil, I don't go over five drops and I'll tell you why. With 10 drops, Remember, you don't want to change the actual makeup of the conditioner. You want them to work hand in hand. So if I put too much oil versus conditioner, I've now created an oil treatment. I am only adding oil and essential oil to create a cocktail, but I still want the conditioning agent of the original conditioner. So a little goes a long way, okay? So I'm now going to take my knife, 
and I'm going to mix this baby up really, really well. Okay. It should still look like conditioner when done, if did right. So I mix that really, really well. And I have now created a hair repair. I'm gonna write the name again so you guys can see. I know my writing is horrible. I created a hair repair scalp ale with moisture. Okay, hair repair scalp ale with moisture. That's for me, it's mine. You can call it whatever you want, but you just created a hair repair scalp ale with moisture. And what I like to do if I create a custom formula or something of myself or a cocktail for myself, I'll write it down. What did I use? I used three drops of this, four drops of that, and three squirts of conditioner. Write that down in my little hair care diary that you guys have. For those of you that have our hair care journal, write it down, put it in there. Now you know, okay, that treatment really did really, really good. So now I created a custom formula for myself. That was cocktail number one. Can you use organic Jamaican avocado oil? I have fine texture hair. You can use whatever oil you choose. You just want to make sure that it's beneficial for what you need it for. That is how cocktails work. You can use whatever you choose, but you want to make sure that it's beneficial to what you need it for. So I have some people who need to detox. Okay. You can use whatever conditioner you like. It's your choice. Some people who need to detox. And the first thing people say is, well, when do I use the detox mask? How do I use it? When do I use it? But it says detox on it. But it's a clay-based mask. It's a clay-based mask. So I'm going to show you guys how I create a custom cocktail with the detox. So it is clay-based, so you know it's nice and thick. Okay? Like, very thick. Clay, just like I said. So you know you're going to use a little bit more than normal, so I'm going to put some more in there. So I have my clay-based mask, okay? I'm going to add, because it's a detox, it already has the scalp cleansing, um, eucalyptus, peppermint, menthol feel. I don't need to add any more of that, so I'm going to add some orange to it. To help it eliminate the free radicals, it also helps to strengthen the hair. That would be high in vitamin C, high in vitamin A. You have to know what these different oils that you're using actually has a benefit for. Okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of orange. One. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was three, just so y'all know. That was three. Okay? So I added a little, just a little bit. Okay? You can't even see it because it literally just touches the clay and dissipates. So I'm gonna mix that up first. Whenever you're doing the clay mask, it's better to mix it while you mix it while mix it while you go. Okay. This thing smells so good. <laughs> okay, so I've mixed it so far. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of argan oil. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Then I'm gonna take a little bit of our goddess serum, guys. You already have it, use it. This, this is exactly what it's created for. I'm taking some goddess serum. One, two, three, four, five. I added the goddess serum because guess what? I want to create a mixture that is going to also help strengthen the scalp, strengthen the hair, hair repair, hair growth. Cocktail. Now, when you put an oil with a clay-based mask, it might change the consistency slightly, but you want to mix it really, really well. Okay? It's going to make it a little more loose. It won't be so thick like a clay-based with how it was before. But like I said, you're creating a cocktail. Okay? 
And now I have created a clay-based hair repair and growth with a little bit of moisture mask, period. That's it. It's not as hard as, you know, when I tell people you got to create a cocktail, people get so confused. They're like, a cocktail? <sighs> How do I do that? How do I make cocktail? How do I make a cocktail? It's just that easy. It's just a fancy word for you just make it up. Hold on. Let me answer this question. I like that question. Is there a certain brand of essentials you would suggest? Honestly, no. Honestly, you can go to Whole Foods. You can go to Fresh Market. Um, this company, I'll tell you this company, I've been using theirs for a while. This one is called Pure Jolly. And you can get, actually, this one comes in a big case. For like $20 on Amazon and it has like tw like 10 different essential oils in there. Perfect. 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 I got that one on Amazon and it came in a box and it had 10 different oils in it. 10 different essential oils. And that gives you the ability to now have essential oils dedicated to what you need it for. And those are basically the 10 most common. Lavender, you know, those kinds. Um... If you're using the goddess serum or the growth elixir or the super growth that we just came out with, you don't have to add any orange essential oil. They already contain that. You don't have to add any rosemary. They already contain that. You don't have to add any um, lemon. It already contains that. You don't have to add any eucalyptus. It already contains that. You don't have to add any rosemary. It already contains that. We already put the core essential oils in there. So the ones that it doesn't contain would be the ones that are kind of like the outsiders. Um... Thyme, cedarwood, those are the ones that are typically not typically in your mixture. So those you can add. Orange, lavender, already in there. So you don't even have to do any work with those. You can just add your goddess serum, add your growth elixir, or add your super growth to the cocktail mixture, and you've already done all the work. Okay, great. All right, so we just created two. We did a clay-based mask, and then we did the hair repair, okay? That's two. So this one that I'm going to make is for those of you, because I get this one a lot, <laughs> a lot. We're going to make a cocktail pre-treatment. Cocktail pre-treatment. Adriana. My daughter's going to drive. I'm going to drive her nuts. Adriana. Be right back. Adriana, yes, go in the trunk and bring that box in the trunk. Yes, All right, my daughter's going to bring the box from the trunk. I'm going to show you guys how to make a cocktail pre-treatment. Give me just one moment. And it's only going to require literally three products. And one is an actual product. The other two is just ingredients. So this is going to be for those of you who have scalp issues. This is going to be for those of you who say your scalp is always itchy. This is how you create stuff for you. Some, you got to take your hair care in your own hands, especially right now where you don't have a choice to go anywhere. You can't go to a stylist even if you wanted to. Now is the time when you take your hair care into your own hands and you make it work. So I am going to show you, I'm showing you guys how to use what you already have and create cocktails and make your hair care customized for just you. For just you, okay? Mind you, I'm over here drinking Everglade. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, as soon as she brings that, we are going to make that for her. One. I'm going to use this one. Thank you. Yeah, you can get some apples. Give your brother some too. Okay. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, this is the journal that I say you should be writing all of this in. Ha ha. All right. So we're going to use the exfoliation treatment. So you're going to use the exfoliation treatment, detox shampoo. Okay. And eucalyptus essential oil. 
Okay, those are the four things we're gonna use. So first things first, you're gonna open your exfoliation treatment. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that this is nicely mixed. If your scrub is dried out, you can add a little bit of almond oil or you can add a little bit of jojoba oil. It's dried out because you didn't mix it before you started using it. You poured everything off at the beginning. So what you see me doing right now is mixing it because remember, this is a oil-based pretreatment. So once it comes, the oil is always going to separate no matter what. You have to mix it. So that's what you see me doing right now. I'm just mixing it. If you don't mix it, then you're going to end up using all of the oil off the top. Oil doesn't mix with anything. So that's what you see me doing right now. I'm mixing my exfoliation treatment. And every time you go to use it, you want to make sure you mix it because guess what? All the goodness is sitting on the top. All right, see how it's nice and creamy now? That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and the exfoliation treatment is one of the most slept on products that we have. People don't understand how, how much um, pre-cleansing is good for the hair. Like today I'm gonna do a live with my daughter and I'm going to pre-cleanse them with the exfoliation treatment today. So you guys will get to see that on live today. All right, so we're gonna take some exfoliation treatment. We're gonna put some into our cup here. You wanna make sure you put enough for your head. Okay, let me close that baby up. So right now we have our exfoliation treatment in there. I am going to take some of our herbal detox shampoo if it's not open can't do anything with it if it's closed all right so we're gonna put some of our you guys see that nice blacky looking charcoal color yeah all right so we're gonna put that in there right now we have that much i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up This thing smells so good. I'm a smell person, I don't know why. Okay, so now it makes it kind of like a, a milky white. Yeah. And then take a little bit of our eucalyptus. I'm gonna do two drops, especially with this one. One, two. All right, we're not putting it. This is strong. Eucalyptus is very strong. And I, just like I said, as soon as I put it in there, it overpowers my nose. Now you have created a customized scalp detox exfoliation treatment. That also suds like shampoo. Hey, Drada, come here. I'm going to put it on my daughter now anyway. Who can wash first? You? She, oh, she'll run in here for the camera now. When I said, come, let me put this on your hair. She'll run in here for that. Sit down here. Okay, just like that. Can you guys see? Can you guys see her? Can they see you? Trying to come up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So now... Okay, you're pushing my chair. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm gonna give you this. Hold on, we gotta make a chair for her. Sit on that. That's good? Okay. So she's getting her hair washed today. She is one of the ones that always has the buildup on her scalp, like right here. It's always built up somewhere in here. Ooh, look at that. You need a good scratch. If you guys don't know, I'm one of those people that like to scratch their drip, but it's fine. Okay, so yeah, she has a lot of buildup on her scalp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply, okay, she has some thread in there. I'm gonna apply some of our scalp exfoliator to her scalp. 
Thank you. So I'm doing it to her hair when it's dry and I'm putting it at the scalp level, okay? This is how you're supposed to apply the exfoliator on the scalp, not the hair, okay? It's supposed to feel really nice on the scalp. It's no different from when you're exfoliating your face. Took down just a little bit. And a lot of people are like, oh, can you use the products on kids and stuff? I use mine on my kids all the time. This is going to serve as a good pre-treatment, especially for those of you who have a lot of buildup on your scalp. You can't see? Here. Can you guys see now? Oh yeah, she has a lot of buildup on her stuff. You okay? It's home. And I like to do this particular cocktail because it creates an anchor. I can't flip it sideways because then it's gonna say I gotta flip it back. That's why I like to do it with the detox shampoo because it just makes it where it literally just, it coats the scalp. And then the Himalayan sea salt is like an abrasive, but it's gentle. Does it hurt? Mm -hmm. So you guys see how I'm just taking my time? Yeah, the viewers have to flip the phone. I can't flip mine. You guys see how gentle I am? You just go through. You have to take time on your wash day, y'all. If you're not taking time on your wash day, this is not going to help you. You are going to always have trouble. How does it feel? It feels good. <laughs> you say you're so pretty. Thank you. Right, let's do this side now. Okay. Where are you the itchy the most? Over here. Over here? This one. Okay. Well, she says she's most, most itchy on this side, so I'm going to go on this side now. And it's almost like you're, you're oiling the scalp. You're just going through and applying it little by little. You guys notice I didn't have a whole bunch in this cup, okay? A little goes a long way in this cup. If you notice, it's not all over her hair either. It's at the scalp. That's why it's a scalp exfoliator. You're basically opening up the scalp. Just like you would your skin. When you do a skin scrub and a face scrub and all that stuff, this is exactly what you're doing. So she has a lot of buildup here. And when I say buildup, dandruff. My daughter actually has some dandruff. So this is going to help get that up without me having to go through and I'm taking the comb and I'm doing all of that. Mm -mm. Hey, everybody. All right, so we're almost done. And I'll show you guys how much I still have left. This is what I tell you guys, that some of you like to use the product over, over, and over, and over. And you don't understand how much you're using. Keep in mind, when you're creating a cocktail, it doesn't have to be the same mixture that I just did. Maybe you want to use the hair repair shampoo because you want to start with a pre-treatment of hair repair. Okay, then go right on ahead. You're creating it based on your hair care needs, not anyone else's. All right. 
So you guys see it all over her hair and scalp, right? And all I'm doing is taking my fingers. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Ew, ew, ew. And just rubbing it on in. It's going to take that itch away. It takes any odors away from the scalp. Any type of buildup or dandruff on the scalp. It helps to start to lift it off of the head. And then what I like to do. Let me get your bow. I'll take her hair bow. Put it back on. Get your towel and stuff, and we'll get ready to wash your hair shortly. And I'll let it sit for a few. But I just created a cocktail, and I still have some left. That's how cocktails work, guys. You create your own cocktails. So what we used was the Elite. The Elite. The scalp exfoliation treatment. I used the Detox Shampoo, and I also used some Eucalyptus Essential Oil. And guess what? At the end of the day, I know that for her scalp, because she has a lot of dandruff and buildup, that's going to work for her. If you don't like eucalyptus, then don't use eucalyptus. Use whatever essential oil is key to what your hair care needs are. That is how cocktails work. Same thing with shampoo. But with shampoo, you can't add too much oil because then it won't sud. So you have to be very careful with shampoos. I'm literally getting ready to do me and my grandson hair. <laughs> Just got my lead stuff yesterday. Yay! Is the scalp exfoliation treatment cream based now? No, it's not cream based cream based yet, but I will show you how to make the exfoliation treatment cream based. Okay. So you'll take some of the exfoliation treatment. I'm just going to do it in here. This is mine, so it don't really matter. Okay. You'll take the exfoliation treatment in a cup. And if you want it to be cream based, all you do is use the conditioner of whichever product you prefer. So I'm going to do hair repair. But for it to be cream-based, you're going to use more conditioner than exfoliator. This thing is so thick. Hey, there we go. And then when you mix it, you've now created a cream-based exfoliator. Just like that. And then you'll put it on. Now, if you want to use it in between your regular shampoo instead of as a pre-treat, that's when you turn it into a cream base. My Q&A question last night was about this very issue, but I unknowingly put in the wrong area code. Thank you for sharing. No problem. Yep. For those of you that didn't know, last night we tried out a text-based Q&A system for two hours. Um, it went really well. People got to text our um, text number or text line for last night, text their questions, and I actually answered the questions, and then I sent back the answers, and then they also got a coupon code to get 30% off our newest product. Um, today, we're going to try something a little different. I just try different things out because at the end of the day, I'm still a company, um, but you don't know what works, and now is the time that I get to try a lot of stuff out because I'm at home, so why not? Um, today, we're going to be doing a secret coupon code but the only way you can get the code is for you to come um sign on to the site well not even sign on you jump onto the site and type in your phone number and then we'll text you a coupon code which is a very secret code and you'll get 40 percent off yeah so it's not ready yet don't worry i haven't done anything yet it's not ready i'm still working on it um, but when it is ready, I'll send out an email to everybody so you are able to go on and do so. And that is how we're going to do the secret sale, which we're having a secret sale, a secret sale today. So the secret sale will be 40% off. Yeah. Yeah. So um, has anyone actually done a custom cocktail on their hair? Let's ask that question. If you've done a custom cocktail on your hair, tell me which one of our products you used to do that cocktail and why you did it, if possible, in like one comment. Oh, he says, yeah. Now I have to worry about being a phone stalker on top of cyber stalking. <laughs> well, the text line is not going to stay open. It doesn't stay open. It doesn't stay open. Janetta, uh, we're working on that right now. So I have not physically finished um, doing the text pop-up thing yet. Um, I actually need to do it while I'm sitting here anyway. 
And then I'm gonna go live and wash the kiddos hair with our new shampoo and conditioner for the kiddos. I haven't gotten, I just, I can't wait to go back to work. I haven't been able to do any type of like haircuts and stuff. I feel crazy. Yeah, I feel really crazy. I feel like I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I feel like I'm not being productive. My laptop's dead. I know. I just, I can't wait to get back to work. I am so aggravated at home. Now you know why being at home with your mate, you're just like, bruh, I need to go to work. I might kill somebody if I stay here. Would you leave this information online to see later? Yep, I'm not taking this down. I'm going to use the conditioner and exfoliator that you just made. We both have thin, dry hair. That will work very, very well. That would work very well. That would definitely work. And here comes all my packages. Watching the UPS. Thanks, dickhead. Uh, Lady J, if you're talking about the exfoliator, I wouldn't use that on your braids because it's going to be hard for you to get out. Three hundred and thirty six emails. Peppermint shampoo, my dad got, wait till I make my own. I have your elite conditioner. Can I sit under a steamer with it? Yes, you can. Do not put a processing cap over the head though. A lot of beautician clients after this pandemic are going to schedule hair appointments with them every day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What product would you suggest for lock removal? Um, honestly, any conditioner would work as long as it has good slip. So I'd say Hydra Strength. You're welcome. All right. So what we're about to do, um, I have to work on that text thing later. I'm be tired to do it right now. Uh, we are about to start wash day for the kids. So I'm going to cut this live because I know a lot of you wanted to be able to see this live all by itself. And then I will restart the live and we are going to start wash day. So you guys are welcome to come back and watch us do our wash for today. Yeah. Cool. So I'll see you guys in the next live.